You will also be assessed on five role play simulations, lasting a maximum of 10 minutes each. Your performance in the simulations will be video recorded for assessment and quality control purposes. The role play simulations will be set in a prison context and will be based on situations you could face as a prison officer. You will be provided with all the information required to deal with the simulations and you do not require prior knowledge of the prison officer role. You will be assessed on seven core behavioural skills. Nonverbal listening. This means showing an individual that you are listening to them by facing the individual, maintaining good eye contact, nodding and looking interesting. Prison officers need to display effective listening skills with those they come into contact with to establish good relations, build a rapport, de-escalate situations and put people at ease. Suspending judgment. This means not making any inappropriate interruptions and suspending your judgments on what you are hearing before deciding on the right course of action that should be taken or giving advice. Prison officers are required to be objective, reserve judgment, gather all the facts about a situation before coming to a conclusion or making a decision. Showing understanding. This means demonstrating that you understand the situation and sympathise or empathise where appropriate whilst listening to the concerns and problems raised. Prison officers are frequently required to act upon the signs of distress, show compassion, care and concern for others, provide a decent, safe living environment and offer options of support to a range of issues. Assertion. This means representing your own stance whilst respecting that of the role player. Sticking to your position but seeking a resolution in a firm way. You will not be expected to be either too aggressive or give way to demands or pressure. Prison officers are required to maintain a safe and secure environment by ensuring offenders stick to prison rules. Being a positive role model, they are also required to encourage offenders to understand the consequences and implications of not sticking to the rules. Respecting others. This means treating people with fairness, dignity and respect and challenging discriminatory behaviour, comments and stereotypes made in the scenarios in an appropriate way. Prison officers are required to uphold NOM's values and the equality policy, challenging any inappropriate behaviour and comments and explaining why the behaviour or comments are inappropriate helps offenders to understand why they may have been disrespectful. Acting with integrity. This means acting in a principled, open and conscientious manner standing up for what is right and reporting wrongdoing. This is about creating a positive environment for all where people know what is going on and feel informed. We understand the impact our behaviour has on others and in doing so must demonstrate integrity with both staff and offenders. In NOMS, every contact matters with staff and offenders. Staff have the biggest impact on offenders by being role models who encourage offenders to be honest and promote them to engage to make positive life changes. This means staff maintaining professional relationships with all those they come into contact with, upholding standards and challenging behaviour which is dishonest and lacks transparency. In summary, it means doing the right thing. Exploring and clarifying. This means asking questions to gain information which will help you understand the problems and assist in solving them and clarifying that you have understood what the problems or issues are. Prison officers are required to ask the right questions to ensure the information is gathered to support evidence-based actions and decision-making.